Rest in peace, Regful. You will be missed. I just want you all to know that I have never met a person on Twitch that has ever, like, I've had some of the most memorable moments of my life with with Byron, and I just, like, our falling out that we had completely destroyed me. And ever since that day, I've tried to reach out to him. I've, I've just, I've tried so hard. Oh, this shit stings so bad. I don't think I've ever felt so in shock in my, like, in my life. Is there anything I can do? Like, I feel so terrible about... I can't believe that... Dude, like, the internet can be so cruel, you know? The internet can be so fucking cruel. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I keep looking at, like, old VODs and shit, man. And it's just... It's fucking killing me, man. <laughs> like, I just keep... <laughs> You Wait for you, brother Tom. I don't know. I maybe I just can't look at this shit for a bit. Look, I just want everyone to know that I fucking I love, I love Byron, man. And I need everyone to know that he was a good fucking guy, and he was just struggling so hard internally. And I wish that he could have like, I wish that I could have helped his negativity. I wish I could have done something. So, like, I, I swear to God, I tried, man. Like, I'm... I feel so fucked. Like, I feel like... Oh, I just wish there was anything I could have done. You know what I mean? Oh, I probably shouldn't look at old shit because I'm not going to be able to, like, not break down. But there's just so many memories, man. Like, I, I just want to say Byron helped m me in so many ways. Not... Like, like in, in, with like life. <laughs> I, I went through so much. He taught me a lot of things and shaped who I am today. <laughs> like, he, he really... I hope that we can forever remember him for the happy, good times that he provided so many of us on Twitch. I wouldn't have ever streamed on Twitch if it wasn't for that man. When I saw his- I used to watch his streams around the clock. Like, he was always live playing Arena. And I- I loved his streams and everything about him in World of Warcraft and everything that he did for this game and everything that he did for all the people. I can't believe this, man. I just, I can't believe this. Boys, can we show some respect for my friend Dreadful, please? Thank you. Appreciate it, man. He helped me a lot lose weight. He... He really helped me a lot to lose my weight. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I could have done it, honestly. He believed in me when nobody else really did. So, a lot of people said I was going to be fat for the rest of my life. And, uh, Wreckful, he bought a jacket that was too small for me and he said, One day you'll fit in this, mate. And he saved it for me. And, unfortunately, I didn't get to wear it with him. So... You know, and people need to realize their words take a have a lot of weight, carry a lot of weight. And I was very excited to show him my weight loss progress. Unfortunately, I can't do that anymore. Some people online are very, very heartless. 
and it's not until it's too late when they realise. It's not until it's too late. So. And he showed me a lot of songs like this. A lot of songs that helped me. So. Honestly, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. So, yeah. This one picture, I want. I told him. I told him. I told him not to post it. He told me, can I post this picture? I said, no, wait. Because I want to retake it and do a side by side one day. And. When I've lost weight, and unfortunately, I can't take that picture anymore. So. I've lost too many important people in my life. I've lost my father. Now a really good friend. So. Uh. I told myself I wouldn't cry today on today's stream, but it's just too hard, man. I'm sorry, boys. It's just too hard. And I just want to say, man, I loved him a lot. So, be right back, boys. I really did love him a lot. I mean... I can't I can't see how this means anything but a yes because I don't understand why she would type this if it wasn't him but it also uh, feels kind of you know too unreal to say that it would be a yes so part of me still wants to think that it's not it's not true there's a new tweet. <laughs> Shut up, woman! Sit down right there! Shut up! Uh... Okay. This morning, I woke up to dozens of phone calls and messages and typically I think that's just Synac trying to call me and bother me about something like a sponsor but one met one call I was like it was poke and I I answered and poke was frantic on the phone I didn't know what was wrong but he kept telling me to look at Reckville's tweets and something must be up I looked at Reckville's tweets and I called him immediately. It's the first thing I did is I called Reckful. He did not answer. He didn't respond. Slick called Reckful. He didn't respond. And with no answer, I got out of my bed with no socks, no shirt, typical Italian style. And we drove to Reckful's as fast as we could. I showed up to Reckful's and we already had a big feeling of what happened and I get a call from his ex-girlfriend Blue who on the phone is having a massive panic attack she doesn't know how to cope with it she was alone in Arizona and she's by herself she's talking to me about a world of feeling of guilt of the world just crashing down on her crying to me telling me that there's nothing that she doesn't know what she could have done more and I talked to her. I told her everything's going to be okay. And if she needs someone to talk to, please just call me. <sighs> Slick and I arrive, but we arrive too late. I walk up to Reckville's place with Slick. And there are two cops standing there. And I see a body covered up with a tarp breezing in the wind and only a few feet away 
are shoes that I know are rectals. Slick and I stopped and we just stood there. We we froze. We didn't know what to do. We were <laughs> seeing someone you knew and there, just sitting there. Sucked. Guilt started to rush, not only me, but Slick. <laughs> Feelings of what we could have done to help. But if anyone knew Reckful, if anyone knew Reckful personally, and not just based on social medias, or they would know that there's nothing. We tried everything. His friends tried everything. Byron was the most unique man I ever met in my life. And I would say that 100%. And one thing that I really thought of Reckful compared to others is he didn't give a fuck if you had 100,000 viewers or five. He wanted to know each person equally. He didn't judge you based on what you had. He judged you based on who you are. And I've saw that multiple times whether it through, be through me, someone he barely even knew when I first met him. He didn't know live stream fails. He doesn't check that shit. He didn't really know who I was in the scene. And I saw it through S Slick and S Sinak. Usually when people meet someone like Sinak, they say to them, they say, oh, you're just Miss Kip's assistant. Oh, you're just Miss Kip's guy. And the same thing goes to Slick. Reckful didn't do that. Rifle's one of the only people I've ever saw want to know who they are personally. And he got to know the names of Sinek. And he got to know the name of Slick. And he became friends with Slick. Close friends with Slick. <laughs> Rifle was not just a friend, though. He was a pioneer of Twitch. That's sad, dude. That's sad. This guy, man, why do you have to say something dumb? Dude, the guy said a lot of um, motivational shit. To me and Zerk, come on. Good guy, man. This can't be real. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> if. Dude, 2020 sucks in my mom's life. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude, guys, I, I, I acknowledge it, dude, it's like, um, the way that I deal with things, the way, the way that when anything happens, I just play games, I just, I just get busy. It's why it's what I've always done. It, it's why I started streaming in the first place. What I think I started streaming, dude, like, I had zero, zero viewers, like one viewer, I was streaming like 10 hours a day, dude. I, I had a lot of problems and I would just turn the stream on and just put my mind and tell on something that is unrelated to whatever. And I can bury myself in it. That's just what I do. It's just it's just a pattern of behavior. I, I'm I'm sure you guys have seen it like you guys have realized over the past couple years. It's what I've it's what I've always done. 
I don't like people were getting mad at me for like playing games while it's happening. Like it, it happened. Like like I know there's there's not much I can do. Um, and we like grieving, dude, because Wreckful was like a, a really close friend of mine. Yeah, sometimes we, we had disagreement, but that's just kind of like um, the nature of our personalities. But. Yeah, Nim and Slicker cried and Andy, yeah, it's just, dude, what a fucking year, man. Yeah, Nim just tweeted, no, Blue's Twitter account is not hacked and Byron's roommate has just confirmed it. It is true. Fuck everything about this year. I think uh, even though him and I weren't as close as, uh, you know, these other streamers that are tweeting, I think still... Just out of like a decency and respect, I think, uh, you know, I think, I think playing Call of Duty like on stream, like, you know, I could play it offline and just, you know, ha hang out with friends and just stay around the boys. But I think out of respect, I get off stream. You know, I think it's just like a, you guys feel me on that? I think that's the way to go. Yeah, I think it's true. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Unless this is two hacked accounts at once, it's 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 true. Yeah, all right, fuck it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going offline. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Weird, weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. No, it doesn't matter. It's 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 time to go anyways. It's fine. We can we can play a little bit later, but uh, let me just uh, how do I exit now? Yeah, hopefully you guys got some drops. Probably not. So like I, like I like I don't know like like if this is true if it's not true like like you guys probably know me and Byron had quite a uh, complicated relationship so um fifty five big ones WTF is wrong with me <laughs> right so we we will see exactly what's going on here but I have on decent authority that uh what people are saying may be true. So I'm just going to go see. What's going on. Man, 2020, huh? Just. I think this is awesome what the community is doing for Wreckful. I think it's awesome with you guys. And I'm happy to see it. <laughs> 